The sun dipped below the horizon, casting an eerie glow over the forest. Mark hurried along the forest path, a shortcut he often took to get home faster, but tonight felt different. Shadows grew long and twisted, like grasping claws reaching out to snatch him. The air, still moments ago, turned cold, and a chilling wind began to blow through the trees. A shiver ran down my spine, making me feel uneasy. He quickened his pace, the sound of leaves crunching underfoot echoing in the silence. Out of the corner of his eye, he thought he saw a dark figure watching him from the trees. He blinked, trying to clear his vision, but the figure was gone as quickly as it had appeared. Just my imagination, I told myself, trying to calm my racing heart. But the feeling of being watched lingered, making every rustle of leaves sound like footsteps behind me. Unable to shake the fear, I broke into a run, desperate to reach the safety of home. Finally, the trees parted, and I emerged into the open field, relief washing over me as I saw the lights of home in the distance. Deeper into the woods he went, the last light faded. The forest became a maze of inky black trunks. An owl hooted, the sound mournful and eerie. Unease coiled in Mark's stomach. I wished I had taken the longer way. A low whisper seemed to come from the trees themselves. Mark stopped, holding his breath, listening. The whisper came again, soft and indistinct. A child's voice, he thought. He strained to make out the words. Help me, please help me. Mark's heart pounded in his chest. He pushed through a thicket drawn toward the voice. A cold mist swirled around his ankles. There in the swirling mist stood a young girl. She seemed almost ethereal, like a ghostly apparition emerging from the depths of the fog. The air around her was thick and heavy, making it difficult to see anything clearly. Pale skin, dark, sad eyes. Her gaze was haunting, as if she carried the weight of countless sorrows. It was impossible to look away from those eyes, filled with a depth of emotion that words could not describe. She wore a tattered white dress. The fabric was worn and frayed, hinting at a long journey through the wilderness. It fluttered slightly in the breeze, adding to her ghostly appearance. Are you lost? Mark asked, his voice trembling. He could barely muster the courage to speak, his heart pounding in his chest. The words felt inadequate, but he had to know. The girl didn't answer. She remained silent, her presence both unsettling and mesmerizing. The fog seemed to wrap around her as if protecting her from the outside world. She just stared at him, her eyes filled with a strange longing. It was as if she was searching for something or someone in the depths of his soul. She reached out a hand, her touch icy cold. The chill sent shivers down Mark's spine, freezing him in place. Her fingers were delicate, yet they felt like they could pierce through his very being. Mark recoiled, fear gripping him like a vice. He stumbled backward, his mind racing with questions and dread. Who was this girl? And what did she want from him? He turned and ran, crashing through the undergrowth, his breath coming in ragged gasps. The forest seemed to close in around him, branches clawing at his clothes and face. He could hear his own heartbeat pounding in his ears, a frantic rhythm that matched his desperate flight. Faster, faster, he urged himself, pushing his legs to move even though they felt like lead. The darkness of the forest seemed to press down on him, making every step a struggle. The whispers followed, urging him on, their eerie tones blending with the rustling leaves and the distant hoot of an owl. They seemed to come from everywhere and nowhere, a haunting chorus that chilled him to the bone. He burst into a clearing, moonlight illuminating the scene. The sudden openness was a stark contrast to the oppressive forest, and for a moment he felt a flicker of hope. In the centre lay a pile of backpacks, toys and clothing, and then he understood these were the remnants of those who had come before him, those who had also tried to escape. This was no ordinary forest. It was a trap, a place where the lost remained lost forever. The realization hit him like a punch to the gut, and he felt a wave of despair wash over him. Whispering, and Mark knew he would never escape. The forest had claimed him, just as it had claimed all the others. His fate was sealed. 